Here we go again, and this is the longest one. So I'm gonna have to get started. Good morning. The time is 8.58. More ridiculous shit going on. I am VU. And this one is a huge one. For starter, I want to expose Steve and his shit. I'm going to show you what all the shit he said. And think that it's okay to bully someone. Because he can't get his way. I recorded, but where is it? Hold on. I think. Let me check. Ah, there it is. Let me... Hold on. Ah, there it is.
And that's all the previews of this recording. It's going to be more so. I'm just showing you in the future of what happened on IMVU. So, right now, this is going to be part 8 preview. The real part 8. No, 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 no. Hold on. Let me check my Chromebook. Thank I take that back. I'm at part nine, and it's gonna be a longer video. Lizzie is next. So, I'm just going to have to expose Steve first. Because this shit is longer than expected. So, everyone, take care. Love, Thorax. Good morning, everyone. The time is 10 a.m. And now, here's the huge problem. I was about to expose Lizzie first, but since Steve want to think that he owns IMVU, that he can do whatever he want and gets away with it, playing cops and robber again, I'm gonna put my foot down and say this is part nine exposing Steve and that coward dumbass slayer so it's part one for Steve part two for slayer and part nine for this whole video that you're about to see now First, I came in to the room knowing that I'm not supposed to be around my ex, but I am because that room is my favorite room where I first met friends and had a relationship. Hold on one damn second. Anyway. It's my girlfriend called, but while I'm having this conversation with her, hold on one second. I will pull up all the screen video and show you everything that happened. And feel free to comment your opinion and tell me what you think. If it's too fast, don't forget to pause and read cause it's going to be long. So I want you to read all what you can. You don't have time for it. I understand. Cyberbullying is really to the point where instead of just killing myself somebody gonna have to call the police or go wherever he is and scare him and not to cyber bully since he want to act like a teenager this is what teenager like 
they behave like. So I'm about to take a brief moment as y'all watch all the shit that happened. So take no 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 sit tight watch and don't forget to grab popcorn this is going to be very interesting anyway be right back one second
Welcome to the I Don't Give a Fuck Club.
<laughs> that bitch called me troll. He can't even spell troll. He can't even put the R. Instead, he put toll. <laughs> Get a load of this. This asshole who... What's that word I'm looking for? Think just because he's a so-called police officer means that he scared me. <laughs> this is going on to that permanent record if it was in court. <laughs> Way to go, Steve. You show everyone how dumb you are. You say you're going to do something, but you can't do it in real life. <laughs> well, I guess we're going to have to find out, weren't we? I have a police ready for you.
Warning, the following content may contain elements that are not suitable for some audience. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, okay, I'm about to say some few words. And please know, if you get offended with what I'm saying, don't watch this video. And to be 100% honest, you want to know what do I think about his attempt to scare me with hat threat? <laughs> and you want to know what do I think about Slayer last reaction after I exposed him? After he has warned too many times not to fuck with me. And he want to get mad. Threatened to take my video down. Re report. And he got what's coming. <laughs> and do you really want to know. What do I think when he try. To scare me. Think that RP attack. Bloody attack on me ain't gonna do shit, gonna kill me in real life. But he haven't even done that, knowing that he didn't hurt my feelings. He wanna be childish. <clears throat> you know, I could say all I can cause literally, I don't literally give a flying fuck. What you do or say, you want to take down my account, go ahead and even try it. It won't work. That empty hack threat won't work. That RP attack won't even work on me. Because you want to know why? I ain't scared of you. I'm not. So Steve, you want to come at me? I dare you to even try coming at me in real life. I can either take you down myself or get the officer involved. And you say you're going to make me get into an accident? Newsflash, I'm still here. I have not been in any accident. And plus, you can't even afford a gas money to come all the way to Bristol and run me off my bike. You cannot afford a way to get there. You're just so scared that you think threatening me can scare me. I ain't scared of you. I'm not scared of your empty threat. So no matter what you say, I am not going along with it. You want to know why? Cause that's childish. All this teenager act you do, you may be done that to other people, but it don't work on the same people you done that to. You may be done that to me, but it don't work because I'm still here. My account is still active. And plus, you want to disable my account? Make my day. I got all the video of your text that I need to make your life a living hell when you see everyone walk away from you not being your friend, not being your family. And in fact, the juicy part is, you want to attack me for day to my family, but you make the same mistake. So fuck all that. I don't give a flying fuck rat as dumb as scary bastard 
ass rat shit about you. I rather drop dead before I let you control me. Like I said, you can't even if you try. You think that mind play will work? You think that this is a game to you? That you want everyone to follow by your rule? Guess what? In real life, it ain't no game. So you think you're tough on the internet? Come at me. I dare you. I live somewhere on State Street. You don't even know where I'm at. And you don't even know where that come from because I will personally deal with you myself in real life if I have to. So I'll be out waiting. Unless you want, unless you don't want to go to jail or get killed, you might as well need to shut the fuck up. Because you ain't scared of nobody. Nobody is scared of you. And Slash, since you want to hide behind somebody who can kiss your ass and be a cyber bully, guess what? You had part two on getting exposed on this video. You... And Steve Wonder Man are both getting exposed, no matter what. And everyone can see how childish, disrespectful you really are. Plus, I got a lot of shit to do then entertaining your bullshit. So, all that shit you talking about. Your little fat ass, dumb ass, no skills, no job, pretend to be a cop just to scare anyone. Well, you can kiss my crippled, furry, wolf, dumb ass, gameplay, ass, cost. You want me to tell you this right now? You want to be a flake? Because I'm still here alive and on my account. Go fucking touch grass. Nobody scared of your dumb, stupid ass. And if you think you're the king of hell, you have not seen hell until you die in hell. And if you did die in hell, good written. We're not wanting any of your shit in the earth, cause you no in the in the living world, cause you don't know how to treat anyone in the living. You think it is all a game that you want to harass everyone you don't like, trying to run everyone off. You're the mafia, a coward one, but I'm the real mafia who ain't scared of you. You're the alpha of the outlaw, but I'm the alpha of the outlaw barker that's not scared of your dumb, stupid, annoying, piss off, butt hurt, snowflake, dumbass. Because all that shit you saying right there don't scare me. It don't scare me. Now, if you want to go that far, guess what? I'm going to be there supporting your way to hell. And God is watching you. And he read everything you type. And he's not pleased of your dumb Bullshit. So, why don't you slay her? Steve, Gerald, all who think they run IMV, kiss my motherfucking ass. I rather drop dead before I let y'all. Take control of what I do 
think that fear can scare me? You don't even know that people who got Jesus ain't scared of a devil. You need Jesus to ask to be forgiven. Or as a matter of fact, you don't want Jesus on your side because you want to go to hell that badly and you are begging to go to hell that badly. I'm going to let God handle you because let me tell you this. Everything you say is all Satan talk. Read. No, listen to my fucking voice. Every shit you say to me that you think that's going to kill me, it's all Satan's talk. You think you're tough over the internet, but let me tell you this. You ain't tough in real life. You'll never be tough in real life. That's why nobody gives a shit about what you say. And especially when you pick on someone with disability, you ain't got no sense at all. So, I want you to try me. That would be another screen text video of what you said and everyone not going to like you. Trust me. Everyone not going to fucking like you. They're not going to respect you. And if you are a police in real life that harassing everyone, you could turn in your uniform and badges because nobody gives a fuck of a dumbass police officer who think it is okay to harass everyone. The police is a law that abide by the law, not a police who abuses authority against someone who they think it's okay they can walk all over. No, the fuck it's not. And I know because I've been in Bristol. I talked to the officer and they are the real law because they respect people in U.S. So, fuck around. And find out. And you talking about son. And you talking about son. This that's what you get for pissing off a redneck. Guess what? The only the only redneck that done something like this is a Hitler like you. So you ain't true to be a redneck. You're just a Hitler. That's what you are. A fucking Hitler. And you concerned about your family? Think about what your family doing or saying about you right now. Your family even scared of you and they don't have respect for you because you don't know how to get a respect. You think you can take everyone's respect by threatening them? But let me tell you this, you don't earn my respect by threatening me because I'm from the hood and everywhere I go and the police think they can walk all over me, I say this, fuck them police and them stupid fake badge on your chest. That's what I can, that's what I can say whenever I see you and you think you're all that because you're a police officer. Guess what? You're nothing but a fake police officer who need to turn in your badge and your uniform and your guns and your handcuff and your license of warrant because you don't because you don't deserve any you don't deserve any respect, Steve. So, like it or not, I said what I had to say. Got a problem with that? Come down there to Bristol on State Street and we'll see what the real officer 
gonna do when you when they see you attack me? Like you're in control of me, but you're not. They going to be like freeze, motherfucker. Get on the ground now. They're not going to point it out at me. They're going to point it out at you. So try me, motherfucker. Try me. I fucking dare you. And claim to be a redneck, but you don't act like a mature one. I know a redneck around here that behave better than you. And I'm friends with the redneck. So try me, bitch. Try me, motherfucker. I double dog dare you. To try me. Bitch, I ain't the one. I'm not the fucking one. <sighs> oh, holy shit. Yeah. Anyway, that's all I have to say. I ain't got time for these asshole on the internet. I'm just going to enjoy my day. So, everyone, sorry. I have to say all that, but they get on my nerves so badly. Anyway, Lizzie is next. So let me pull up something that I can expose of him. And to be 100% honest, Lizzie is a guy who's hiding behind a girl. His real name is Chris, not Lizzie. So. If you see, if you see him on Facebook, that ain't a girl in real life. That's a guy in real life hiding behind a girl. So if you see that person, wait until you see his true color hiding behind a girl picture and being a bitch. Anyway, watch out for any asshole. That's all for now. Everyone, take care. Love, Thorax.